Welcome to Mission to Inspire, where we share life experiences in our careers, personal lives, society, culture, religion, finance, family, and much more. Meet your host, Shola Ajabadi, as she takes you on a ride to fuel your inspiration. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Mission to Inspire. My name is Shola, and I've got our wonderful guest uh, with us today. Her name is Dorothy Atkins. Hi, Dorothy. Welcome onto our show today. Hello, Shola. Thank you for coming, for, for inviting me. <laughs> You're so, so welcome. Dorothy is the co-founder of Personal Aspirations, a coaching and mentoring of teachers on how to monetize their teaching knowledge beyond schools. She's also a property investor. So today she'll be speaking to us on our property journey or how she started what motivated her and she will be giving us some tips as well on our property investment um business so prop um dorothy over to you <laughs> what motivated you to start what motivated me? right so i had a, um, a very very simple motivation uh, i realized that uh, as i was approaching my retirement age i realized that my pension is not going to provide me the same the same standard of living as i have when when i was still working i was a teacher and um, my, my teacher's pension wouldn't be, uh, is not 100% because I, I didn't work, uh, taught, I, I haven't taught for, for full 40 years. So, so uh, I, I would, I expected a serious drop of income. So I was looking for ways of finding passive income, which can supplement my pension. So that's how my, my sort of interest in finding something started. Purely, um, purely, um, you know, finding a, a, a new sort of s source of income. Now, why property? Well, I actually searched and searched and spoke to many people who had their own businesses. Um, I attended many um, uh, uh, networking meetings, business networking meetings, looking for ideas. And finally, I came to the conclusion that actually property is ideal for me. I do have some experience, or I did have some experience um, of, of renovating property because every house I lived in, my own house, I, I bought in a sort of not ideal state and it had to be renovated. And I enjoyed the journey. I enjoyed the sort of process of seeing the wreck and, and a beautiful house at the end of um, the process. So I thought, why not? Why not do the same for others and then rent those properties? And that would be my passive income I was looking for. So that was my, 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 my journey initially my, my, my reasons for, for entering property uh, investing world. Ah, that's great. So do you invest just for yourself or do you also invest for investors? No, I, I invest just for myself. So my whole property uh, portfolio is uh, in, in my name and my company name. Um, I do work with investors in a sense that we do use investor money in order to uh, help us re either purchase the property or renovate the property and investors and certain income certain um, um, yearly income with us um, and then at the end of our renovation pr um, process the money plus the interest is returned to investor so uh, we've worked in the past with probably four or five investors uh, some of them are sort of coming to us on number of projects, not, not just on one project, but on number of projects. But I haven't done any investing on behalf of others. Um, so I, I am scared of doing, because everybody has got their own criteria, their own um, ideas, what makes the ideal property. And I would be scared of actually recommending my, um, um, my my criteria or, for, or, or sort of imposing my criteria on somebody else. I think it needs to be individual uh, decision. But I'm very happy um, helping others 
who are on a property journey. I do have a, a few sort of younger um, followers uh, who I am helping. And as I say, we do work with investors as well. Great, great, great. So what are your achievements to date um, on your property? That's a very good question. So I've got a, a, a lovely portfolio of um, um, small houses uh, which are rented for professionals, for contractors working in the, in the area in the Lake District. So um, it's, it's, a, it's a number of commercial, I've got a number of, of um, residential properties which are now, um, which have been renovated by me and they are now rented to uh, professionals working in the area. I also, a few years ago, started a journey on, of um, renovating commercial properties and converting them into residential properties. The planning um, process or planning, planning procedure have changed and it's much easier now to convert commercial properties into residential. So we've done a few projects where uh, we've, we've, we've done just that, taking on commercial building and, and very quickly converted into lovely, lovely homes which are now rented out. Uh, so that that's sort of my uh, level of expertise. Wow, well done you. <laughs> From single buy to lead to commercial. It's, um, it's, uh, it's some, sometimes people look at it as a very big jump, but with your level of experience, perhaps that made it easier for you. Well, it's, you know, some people do start with commercial straight away, although I think, uh, in my case, uh, it was much easier to learn the ropes on residential buildings, uh, because the rules and, and building regulations for commercials are much, much different. It's, it's, it's you know, they are different rules. Much, they are much more stringent than in, in the residential world. So for me, it was the, the sort of natural progression, having done a number of residential deals uh, to progress to, to commercial. Commercial. Thank you so much. Any property tips you'd like to share with us today? Yes, um, one of the most important uh, tips I'd like to share with everybody is that in order to start in property, you do not need to have, or you don't need to attend expensive uh, training, property training. I did, but I realized that actually I could have used the money, a lot of money which I spent on, on training, I could have used it oh. as a deposit for another house. There is so much free advice available uh, out there. There are loads of YouTube videos. There are uh, uh, loads of Facebook groups, property groups, um, wonderful um, uh, meetings in, in person, networking meetings in person that you can actually, as a starting um, investor, you can learn a lot that way. And once you've done maybe one or two deals and you've learned a little bit on your, on, on your own deal, then you may identify gaps, but much more specialist gaps. And, and then you may need to seek uh, some specialist training in one particular area. But um, a lot of trainings offered currently are, are costing a lot of money and they are not necessary to the highest standards. So be very careful how you choose your trainers. What I would recommend though, and that would be my tip number two, is working with a, a mentor, somebody who is slightly higher up in the property journey, higher up than you are, and you aspire to get there and work with that person uh, to, to, you know, to learn this person's uh, sort of methods or, or tips or, 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 you know, um, how they've done it and try to maybe copy that and, and under their supervision, and uh, they uh, be, uh, you know, have them uh, to, to be your accountability partner, have them to 
push you to achieve your own goals. And, and that way you can learn a lot more because you are learning on your project with somebody who is watching you very, very closely and somebody who is encouraging you uh, to achieve your goal. So for me, that's far more important than, than, than the proper training at the beginning. And I had some wonderful mentors in the past um, who definitely helped me to achieve what I wanted to achieve. Great. Um, any other tips? Any other tips? Um, uh, well, uh, always, always surround yourself with people who are achievers, who want to do achieve something in life, and just do it now. Don't wait for that perfect deal. Don't wait for that perfect opportunity. Mm -hmm. Grab what's available around you right now, even if it's not per per uh, perfect, but get, get started, get going. And, and then, you know, next deal may be better than this one, but don't think that, um, it, you know, oh, there are no deals around, or this is not um, ideal. You are looking for slight, something slightly better that better may not exist at the moment. So learn now through through action now. So take action as soon as you can. Thank you so much. Thank you for those tips. Any inspirational advice for, for us today? Well, uh, inspirational advice. I, I take my inspirations from books. Wow. Uh, that's, that's, that's me. And I would highly, highly recommend um looking for anybody to look at at the inspirational books personal development books any books which can give you advice on how to manage your time how to plan better future how to plan your ideal life and so on and um i belong to a wonderful wonderful book club group of women who are uh, we are reading one one book a month although we are meeting on instagram and it's available to everybody it's not a closed group so anybody can join that but we are meeting once a week uh, to discuss another a, a few chapters of the book we are currently reading and sharing our experiences sharing how we are implementing advice from the book and so on and i the group started nearly two years ago, and I actually see some amazing results by being inspirational for each other together as, as a group. So, so for me, it's books, but it could be, um, you know, some idol, some, some ideal person you want to, uh, to, to take advice from or, and follow. I mean, find it's so important to have some kind of inspirational source in your life. So, so please do find that source of inspiration. Thank you so much, Dorothy. Thank you for joining us on our program today. Thank you so much. Um, thank you very much, Shola. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you everyone for joining us. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and try to like and comment on our on our show today. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you, Dorothy. And we've learned so much from your tips and the inspirational advice that you shared. And your journey is such, is such a wonderful journey. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you, Shola. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you for joining us today on Mission to Inspire. Subscribe if you have not already done so. Like, comment, leave a message. Let's stay connected. Let's jointly inspire the world.